What's going on guys, Tyler here and welcome back to another video here. If you're new to the channel, be sure and smash that nice red look and subscribe button. I do just want to say really quick, thank you so much for those that are subscribing. I just as of yesterday hit 1000 subscribers and that's a big step for me. I'm super excited. So thank you guys so much for subscribing. Again, like I said, if you're new, smash that nice red look and subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. We're growing the fam nice and big. Now, more on that thousand subscribers a little later in another video. If you're interested in upgrading to Elementor Pro at any time, be sure and check out the links down below in the description. One of the features we are gonna talk about in here will include will be included in Elementor Pro and not in the Elementor free version. So be sure and just check that out and see what kind of price you can get for it. It really is a reasonably priced for what it does. Um, Compared to other page builders, it's it's really got a ton of those features at a, a less price. So I would definitely check that out if I were you and are thinking about upgrading. All right, guys, this video will have two parts in it. One, the first part, I'm going to talk about why I think this gradient feature is actually really helpful and give you some real world comparisons of where companies are using them. And then in number in part two, I'm going to actually jump into the tutorial. So if you just here for the tutorial and don't really care about the whole background and why you know it might be very beneficial to use it, just jump over to this timestamp right here in the video and you can get right into the tutorial. All right, let's get started. All right, guys, for those that know, I am a big, big Apple fan. And whether you're a fan of Apple or not, you do have to admit that they are an incredibly large, successful company, especially in the tech industry. Back in August, they hit a market cap of $2 trillion, making them the most valuable company in the world. So whether you like them or not, you just kind of have to accept they are an incredible company. Now, I'm going to show you a website here, and I want you to see kind of what is the first thing that pops off the page and really catches your eye. So let's go ahead and just jump over to it. What is the first thing that catches your eye? Now, for me, it was this uh, gradient text right here that says mini. And then the second thing that caught my eye was, well, obviously their product picture, but this other gradient text down here that, you know, it's just like really pops off the page. Now, when we think about like Apple and, and how big and large of a company they are, if we have the opportunity to copy something or do something similar to a company that is worth just about two trillion dollars now we should definitely do it because they've done so much research so much marketing they've they know their product they know their customer base they know everything and they're using this exact effect that i'm going to teach you how to do and put in your website for basically like 30 seconds of work today. So I highly, highly recommend that you use this in your website. Now I do just want to have a disclaimer here. There is a certain spot when you want to use this. You don't want to use this effect just randomly sporadically throughout your website. You don't want to use this if your website uses a lot of different colors. It could get just kind of mixed in and kind of clash with your website design. What Apple does here, and if we look back at their website, you can see their website is very, very um, just basic. They have a black header up top, black text on a white background, one little blue button right here. And that's what makes this text and this, you know, this effect really just pop off the page is because they're using very little colors, just simply black and white for their website design. And if you know Apple, that's kind of their, their go-to, it's kind of that minimalistic design. And then they feature something popping off the page. Um, for example, this gradient text when they add some color to their site. So I do just wanna recommend that you kind of stay to basic and minimalist uh, website design and this feature really really makes it pop a little bit more about this feature is the gradient fade of this colored text is kind of a new and a modern thing obviously as you can see the apple is using it but it's a more modern feel and so when people visit your website they're going to get that kind of cutting edge that kind of um more modern updated feel when you have just you know blank text and you have very you know solid or just kind of nothing really fancy or nothing really popping off the page they kind of get that kind of older 
older feel of like maybe a more trustworthy company like they've been around for a long time but not that modern edgy feel that you get when you see this kind of gradient text that really just captures your attention so if that's the type of feel that you're going for i highly recommend this effect it could kind of give that edgy or modern you know cutting edge feel to your site all right guys let's jump into the tutorial and jump into my computer here i do just want to mention before we jump in that i have a tutorial video on how to make a gradient button so if that's what you're looking for if you want that gradient effect but maybe not in text you want it in a button be sure and check out this video right here and i'll actually show you right here because i'm on the website here this is the page that we designed with this gradient button so if you want to see it you you can go ahead and check out that video there will be a card up here at the top of the YouTube video so you can head over there but this is what it looks like I think it came out really nice and has kind of that pop effect still but let's go ahead and just jump into how to create gradient text all right guys if you saw the part one of this video you know that you should be using a website theme that is very basic and minimalistic like a black and white theme or something like that that doesn't have a lot of colors so it clashes with the gradient effect here but what we're going to do is basically just drag in a heading and uh, so we'll just grab and drag in a heading right there. I've already put one in here. It's the feature is already here is what I made. And what I did to this heading actually right here is let's go over here and edit the style and under typography. You can see I increased the weight from normal up to 800. So that's going to make it a little bit more thick. That way you can kind of see the gradient a little bit better in the background of the text there. So now that we've got that there, we're pretty much all set up with this. We're going to go over to advanced and again, still under the settings of the heading, we're going down to custom CSS and under custom CSS, we're going to put in this code here. All right, now I'm going to zoom in a little bit here so you can actually see what this code is. Is, but basically you're going to type in selector and then a space and then a period so make sure you have the space and then the period and then it's going to be elementor and then dash heading and then dash title and then we're going to open this with two curly brackets so there's one and then you can go a few spaces down and it should close the curly bracket but basically we will just close that curly bracket so anything in the middle here is going to be applied to elementor heading title again if you don't know css don't worry about it just copy this code exactly and then i will show you kind of how this all works together so what we're going to do is we'll have that typed in there and then we'll go over to this other website called mycolor.space now this website is really cool it's totally free at least for now it is they're in beta it looks like but it's free and a really really cool website and then we'll head over to palettes here and i just want to show you we don't have to do this this isn't required but i want to show you if you need help creating a gradient this is where you can get that help um, go ahead and just click on this color right here this purplish color and select the color you want I'm just gonna go with like a hot pink right there and hit generate and then this is going to generate a generic gradient right here so look at any of these two colors would be nicely faded together in a gradient or any of these three colors we could also do that if you scroll down further you can actually see there's more gradients down here that we can select from but this is just kind of like a generator that allows us to pick a few colors if we want now this website also does all the heavy lifting and all the hard work of creating a gradient for us if you want two color gradients so maybe just a red to a blue fade um, then you can do that right up here at gradient if you want a three color gradient like a red to a yellow to a blue fade you can do that right up here I'm gonna go with a three color gradient. That's kind of what Apple uses. I think they're pretty cool. Um, for those that didn't see part one, we kind of discussed the apple.com website and how they use the same effect. But um, I'm gonna use this right here. Now we have the option to go ahead and select our orientation. And this is meaning which direction the colors will fade from. Now you can see here's my first color, this kind of pinkish color. And here's my end color, this kind of teal aqua color here. So here's the aqua color up here at the top right of my screen and here's the pink color down at the bottom left of my screen and that's because we have this orientation selected if we want to left to right we can click that and click generate and that will switch it so the pink is now on the left and the teal is now on the right 
There are all kinds of different orientations. We can go diagonal to diagonal, pretty much any direction. Um, we can go left to right, right to left, top to bottom, bottom to top. Um, let's just show you what this looks like, like that. Um, you just kind of choose which fits best. You can try a, a few of these and it doesn't really matter. Um, I'm just gonna stick to the default, the bottom left to the top right. And I'm also gonna stick to the default colors, but how you would do this is click the color and select the color or paste in the hex code that you saw in our palette um, when we created that palette there were hex codes for each color so you can copy those over and just paste them in here but i'm just going to stick with the default colors just because this is a tutorial and i'm not really creating this website for anything so once you have everything selected you hit generate and it comes out with this css code right here we just can click on this and copy it over. So we'll we'll use this code in our website on generating this effect. Let's head back over to our website and all you have to do is paste this code in between these curly brackets. Again, we have the open curly bracket here and the closed curly bracket here. We just wanna paste this in in between those curly brackets. Now, don't worry about anything else. If you need to replace it, say you didn't like that orientation, you wanted to change the orientation from left to right instead of the diagonal that it is, um, you can go ahead and select this all this code right here, it starts with background dash image and ends with this semicolon down here. And you'll see a lot of these, they look like a hashtag and then some random characters here, but they're basically hex color codes. When it closes the parentheses after the last one and the semicolon, that's all that code right there. You can go ahead and just delete this right there and start over again. But we'll go ahead and just leave that in there. And as you can see, we have now this effect applied to basically like the whole column it looks like, but it's really applied to the heading and it's now a background color. Now what we need to do is get that background color inside the text. All right, so this is actually a very easy process. All we're gonna do is after the semicolon or before the close bracket, we just need to add a few lines and it doesn't matter. It reads the code all the same, no matter how many lines you have in here. So I'm just gonna add a few lines so we can kind of see what we're doing here. Now what we're gonna do is put background, let me zoom in here so you can actually see it. Background dash clip. And then we're going to put a colon and then it should automatically put a semicolon after your cursor or after where you're typing there, but we're gonna put text. So now it should say background dash clip colon text semicolon. So that's the text right there that we need to add. And then right down here, we're gonna add one more thing. And basically this is just for any kind of older browser that doesn't read this code right here and doesn't understand it. We're going to put this right in here, dash webkit, dash background, dash clip, colon, and then mine did not put the semicolon at the end of my cursor here. So what I'm gonna do is just type in text and then add a semicolon. And that's it guys, you're pretty much done with all the coding. Now nothing really changed here. You're like, oh no, what happened? Did I do it wrong? No, don't worry, nothing's really supposed to change. Now all we have to do is go back over to the settings of the title here and we'll go over to style here and under text color, we're gonna go ahead and click that. Now we just need to make this transparent. So we're gonna bring this all the way down and there you go, you can see that the text color now is changed to this gradient fade there. All right, look at how cool that is. It's got this fade going through it. However, you notice we don't really see that pink and we don't really see that teal. So if you recall, what it was doing was stretching the whole background over the whole, what seemed to be the whole section, right? So what I'm gonna do is I have some margin or some padding up here. I think it's some margin, yeah, some margin up here on the text. So I'm gonna bring that down to zero. So there's no margin up there anymore. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start adding some columns here. Now this is going to allow the whole area of where my title is, where my heading is, to be shrunken down. So I'll go ahead and just right click on this column here and hit add new column and right click here again and hit add new column. And then let's drag this here, this column into the middle. Now you can see this gradient is changing. We now are getting some pinks here at the bottom left and some teal or some lighter blue up at the top right here. So basically we've reduced the size of how big this column is so that text 
that uh, text background is not filling up as much space and it's kind of more fitting around the text. I hope that makes sense to you guys. It's it's very simple. You basically just add a heading to your site. You go over and add a few other little pieces of code that I talked about in this video. You go over, grab your color code, you add your color code to it, and then you drop the, the opacity or the transparency here down to zero so the text is completely transparent and all you see is that background color there. And you get this really cool effect. And like I said, it looks really good on this page let's just add in a spacer real quick so i can show you what this looks like here and uh, let's publish it and take a look at it here i think i have a fade in entrance animation here but i think that looks really good it really kind of brings this really pop to your site you see the colors you know it, it really speaks to you know the the style of the site and kind of the the different cutting edge type of you know modern feel that it brings to it and uh yeah i just think it's a really cool effect so definitely apply that to your website if you think it will help and encourage people to take actions on your website and thank you guys again so much for subscribing i really do appreciate it like i said i hit the thousand mark and it really meant a lot to me so hit that nice red look and subscribe button and if you are not an elementor pro user be sure and check out the link down below in the description See what kind of price you can get for it. It's just an awesome plugin with so many features. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care.